So with that, we, what we do now, I've showed you how to, this accumulates. So we're just going, until we get to the end of the quarter, we're going to just keep filing in this case, in this example, we're just going to keep filing 7,200s for qualified wages, 70% retention up to $7,000 credit per employee. So we just keep accumulating this, so I'm going to stack it on, they just keep stacking on, and then we get to the end of the quarter. A minute ago, I told you if you made an error on the 7,200, that you don't amend it. You will reconcile it on the 941. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over here, and this is a draft copy of the 2021 first quarter 941. So we're going to be filing the first quarter, and we're going to mark the box here for January, February, and March. But what I want to show you on it, because I'll be doing a 941 first quarter on a different video, but what I want to show you is where this ends up at. What's going to happen if we go to line 13F, total advance received from filing forms 7200, there it is again, for the quarter. So what happens is that we take the accumulation of these, and again, here if you look down on the camera, so as these accumulate through the quarter, they keep stacking up. On the last pay period, when we file a form 7200, which can be filed any time before we file the 941, we're going to take and we're going to put a number here. And then we're actually going on the 941 quarterly report, we're actually going to have actual wages, withholdings, etc. And this number will be subtracted from any credit available. And this is where, again, I said it will be reconciled on the 940. So then what I want to do, if I can find another 7200 here, then what happens? We get to that when we take this quarter, we put the accumulation on the 941, we are now done with all these 7200s. And in quarter two, we're now ready to start over. So my point is, we started a new quarter and then each, like for example, line one here, total employee retention credit for the quarter. All right, but these are new numbers. And so we're only going to have the numbers for the first pay period in this one. And then we'll start accumulating again to the second quarter. Now, just a couple of, this kind of, you know, wraps it. But before I let you go, a couple of observations is the fact that if you'll notice or right here, I'll put the pin down here. It's got January, February, March, first quarter. It's got second quarter, third quarter and fourth quarter. But wait a minute, the ERC payment right now goes through June 30th. We learned that in our ERC presentation. So why they put July through December, the third and fourth quarter? It's because if you actually read in the instruction, they said in case this credit might be extended again, then this 941 and the 7200 should work through the end of December of 2021.